some experts point to an oil refinery fire in Indiana back in August, which supplies 25% of the gasoline used in Michigan. A Gas Buddy analyst tweets, Sources tell me that the BP's Whiting refinery is still under maintenance and will now be into at least mid-November. My previous expectation was that the refinery would get back fully online in October, which may explain the Great Lakes seeing wholesale prices shoot up. In the summer, Governor Whitmer lifted several fuel rules, allowing truck drivers to stay on the road longer and allowing the state to access the fall gasoline supply early. But now, prices are up again and could climb even further. I like just putting in 20 and be able to go to life, at least a quarter tank. <laughs> Not 20 in the car talking like, that's all you're going to give me? <laughs> Something else the experts are saying about these gas prices is that there's a good chance they're either A, going to stick around for a little bit, B, go even higher, or C, both. In Redford, Nick Botticelli, Local 4. All right, Nick, thank you. An alert for people who use dry shampoo products. A new report finds troubling levels of cancer-causing chemical called benzene in several types of dry shampoo. Those brands include Dove, Suave, Tresemme. Numerous dry shampoos were recalled last month due to the potential presence of benzene. On Monday, an independent lab sent a petition to the FDA saying 70% of samples from 34 different brands had quantifiable levels of the chemical. The petition urges the FDA to better define limits for benzene contamination and products. We have a list of all of the dry shampoo products recently recalled on clickondetroit.com.